Hi, Stephen Kent Mirasu here. In the middle of our workspace in the middle of March 2022, it seems like an appropriate time to talk a little bit more about Cabernet Franc. Lotre Cote Cabernet Franc is our Cabernet Franc brand, exclusively Cabernet Franc, uh, all Cabernet Franc, all day long, every day. Uh, our favorite grape, our winemaking team is obsessed with the beauty of this variety obsessed with making as pure an expression of this wine as we possibly can. Oak choices are very important consequently. A lot of wine from California, a lot of wine from Bordeaux that has Cap Franc in it, tends to be uh, made in a style that's, that's bigger, that emphasizes tannic structure, that especially in Bordeaux blends in which Cap Franc doesn't play a major role, it, it adds a little bit of verve and live aliveness and liveness to the blends. We are looking more at the Loire Valley as a model for the wines that we make. 100% for the most part, Cab Franc, with as little a uh, wood contribution in terms of flavor and aroma. Structurally, we like what wood does for us. Uh, I have a couple of glasses in front of me. We're, we're getting to a point where we're, we're considering when we're going to bottle our wines. We're looking probably the next three to four months. Uh, for release next year, 2022, 2023. Um, so uh, as you saw earlier in this video, I pulled a sample of wine from a Punchin, which is a 500 liter barrel, a little over double the volume of a Barrique, kind of the barrels that you're familiar with, barrels that are behind me, and the second barrel from which I took a sample. Uh, I, 500 liters versus 228 liters. The larger the vessel, the wood vessel, the less wine is actually in contact with wood at any given time, so the extraction of oak tends to take longer in a puncheon than it does in a barrel. So we use puncheons for Cab Franc because it's easier for us to control the amount of wood that any particular vessel contributes to that wine. We love the way that puncheons, especially used puncheons, give us structure, give us a sense of a little bit of roundness taking off of the corners, kind of sanded, uh, sanding the corners of the wine without adding a lot of flavor and aroma of wood. These two vessels, however, were new. Uh, 2021 Vintage Barrique uh, and 2021 Vintage uh, Punchin. So I just kind of wanted to get a, a, a sense of what these wines are smelling and tasting like now and making composite blends of all of our, all of the barrels that we're using, most of which are used, some of which are very, very old and completely neutral. Um, just to kind of see where we are again, thinking about when we need to pull the wine out of barrel and when we need to bottle. So, uh, punch in here. Mm. 2021 Vintage is maybe the best that we've ever made. We've been making Cabernet Franc uh, under the Stephen Kent banner first in 2006, and now under our Lotra Cote, the other shore brand since 2017. Um, this wine is glorious. It, it has all the hallmarks of what we love in Cabernet Franc, purity of fruit. It exhibits those pyrazine, those kind of herbal green notes that people talk about when they talk about Cabernet Franc, more in a dried chili way, adobo and various other kind of roasted chilies, uh, which, which gives the wine a really beautiful sense of complexity, but it's not green green bell pepper, those kinds of aromas, in my mind, mean the wine, mean, mean the, the, the grape was picked before it was ripe. We try to stride that pyrazine line so we don't get the green, but that we get herbal notes, in this case, dried chili, but also sage, bay, those kinds of things. The uh, barrique, on the other hand, Showing a little bit more obvious wood, not so much in the flavor profile of the wine, because I think both of these are adding just a whisper, just a hint of oak, but more in the tannin, the structure of the wine, the finish of the wine. Very powdery, both of them, which I like that kind of structure of the Cab Franc. This wine seems to be a touch more tannic than the wine coming from the, from the Punchin, which we would expect. Uh, beautiful purity of fruit great drive in these wines uh, from acid. And the acid 
to, to fruit and wood and tannin ratio or, or, or um, combination of those four factors, we call waft, um, makes for an absolutely delicious wine now. It needs a little bit more time in barrel, probably another you know, three to four months before we pull it out, but very, very, very happy with where we are right now in 21. And my suspicion is that when we release these wines, they are going to be extraordinary. At least that's our hope. Uh, we've got a lot riding on Cab Franc, not only from the standpoint of how important it is to our brand, but because it's our favorite grape and we drink a lot of Cab Franc from all over the world, we want to make sure that, that Lotrecote Cab Francs are world-class representations of what happens to Cab Franc from the Livermore Valley when the winemakers are, are using wood in a, in a deft way. Uh, we look forward to talking to you more about Cabernet Franc. You're going to hear a lot of it. If you like what, you, what you're hearing and seeing about Cabernet Franc, tune in to, uh, to our Lotrecote website and to my personal blog. Thanks very much. Uh, drink a great bottle of Cabernet Franc today. Do yourself a favor. Cheers.